We're covering Colorado first at six. The problem plague day line train to DIA might be in even more trouble soon. The feds are threatening to shut it down. There have been those ongoing issues with the crossing gates. Now the Federal Railroad Administration is telling RTD that they better come up with a plan to fix it. Rick Sounder has been covering the A-line issues since it opened two years ago. And Rick, the clock is ticking now for RTD. <laughs> Patience is wearing thin, Karen. RTD has been given until mid-December to come up with a workable plan to fix the problems. If not, people may not be taking the A train. Pretty important. It's the only way I get to work. To get to work at DIA to help those in wheelchairs, Ed Russell and others have become dependent on the RTD A line. But there's been a problem. Ever since this line started, crossing gates have had a timing issue. Now in this letter to the RTD, the Federal Railroad Administration is threatening possible revocation of its permission to operate. What do you think of the threat by the government to shut this down? Oh, I think it would be a terrible decision. A lot of people depend on the A-train. People like Robert Sandoval, who moves airplanes for United, but needs the train to get there. It would be disconcerting. Uh, I think uh, there's lots of people that take this train and they're looking for it to be here every day. Like the old Lionel train sets, when the train approaches the crossing, at a certain point the gates are supposed to go down. But it's far more complex on the RTD commuter lines. Flaggers are required at crossings because the gates come down too soon and rise up too late some of the times. RTD and contractor Denver Transit Partners have been involved in lawsuits over the issue. How long have trains been around? 200 years? And we can't get this one to work properly? It's, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> RTD says revocation of the permit to use this line would be extreme and insists its service remains safe and reliable. In Denver, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.